It's 517 and we are watching dangerous conditions this morning. And right over to Brian Goddard now for these double digit below zero wind chills. Absolutely. I mean, it, it could be worse, I guess, with the winds wind have died down, but it is cold and dangerous outside with wind chills approaching 30 below across southeastern Wisconsin. These are the actual temperatures at seven below right now in Fond du Lac, as well as here, excuse me, Chicago, as well as Milwaukee, 20 below in Rhinelander. And hey, it's warmed up eight degrees. It was 33 below last hour in International Falls. Now just 25 below. They're excited. Look at these wind chills. It is currently 40 below wind chill in Rhinelander. Oh, 30 below in Green Bay, 28 below here in Milwaukee, and 23 below in Madison. Taking a look downtown Milwaukee, you notice that the sky is very dark. It's because there's no clouds reflecting that light, and we needed those clouds to keep the temperature up a little bit. Didn't happen. Seven below. Northwest winds at 15. That is dropping the wind chill to about 28 below zero. It is 12 below the actual temperature in Fond du Lac, 14 below in Burlington, nine below Racine as well as Kenosha. Those winds northwesterly at 5 to 15. So yesterday they were over 25 miles per hour. We'd be seeing wind chills of 40 below here as well like they are up in Rhinelander if we had those winds still gusty. But it doesn't take much wind to get these nasty wind chills. 25 below in Kenosha, 26 below in Beaver Dam, and 28 below in Port Washington. We have the wind chill advisory until noon today for wind chills of 20 to 30 below after the noon hour. No advisory, but wind chills still anywhere from 15 to possibly 20 below zero, which is just below that criteria level. So on the Goddard gauge today on a scale of zero to 10, I'm giving it a minus one. At least it's sunny outside. A high temperature today of only two wind chills to minus 15. Northwest wind at 10 to 15. Then for tonight, we're back to below zero. Once again, eight below in Milwaukee. I do believe there will be some inland areas like this morning that'll be 10, 11 below zero. And computer model things. A lot of spots will be about seven to eight below. Four below in Oak Creek in the morning and five below in Glendale. Then we're tracking some snow for Friday afternoon and Friday evening. About an inch to maybe an inch and a half of accumulation by the time you wake up Saturday morning. This will be light, fluffy snow and I have to do a little bit of shoveling. Temperatures though on the rebound. Two degrees today. That's not a rebound. Wind chills to 15 below. Tonight we're dropping back down to around eight below zero. The wind is much lighter, but wind chills still 10 or to 20 below zero. I'm not expecting an advisory overnight tonight. Light snow for Friday, a high of 18 degrees after that cold start to the day. That's a 28. Don't adjust your television on Saturday. Flurries out there as well. And then it's a brief warm up because another cold front comes through here Saturday night. Sunday's high is 14 degrees. And when we wake up Monday morning, it'll be six below once again. And despite a little warm up on Tuesday, most of next week stuck in the teens. There's just no relief in sight. Tatiana? Well, I've got relief for the roads.